Hi guys, welcome to probably the most interesting part in this chapter, which is on logarithms. Okay, I don't want this this word over here to scare off any of you. Okay, because this is probably one of the the most interesting chapter in the entire of your additional mathematics syllabus. Okay, the most important thing here is just to identify. Okay, your um, variables for your index form and your logarithmic form. So over here, let me just bring it, bring it to your attention. This is called the index form, and this is called the logarithmic form. Okay. So in the next few examples, we will learn how to convert between these two forms, and we will also learn to state whether a given logarithm is defined. Okay. So for for logarithm, uh, for a logarithm, logarithmic function to be defined, these conditions must be met. Your y must be greater than zero, and your a got to be greater than zero, and a cannot be one. Okay, so let's move on to some concrete examples. Okay, the easiest way to do your conversion is to identify what is your y, your a, and your x. Okay, so in this example, I'm given this, so to make it look easier okay i'm just gonna rewrite the equation in a different way so i'm just gonna flip it around so it looks like this so comparing this okay with this form we can identify that y okay y is p so y is p okay a is 2 and x is just x okay so to convert the logarithmic form i'm just gonna write it over here so log of a since a is 2 i replace it with 2 and y is p, okay, x is still x, okay, and so this is the answer. If you want to flip it around to write your answer, I mean, this is also fine. Okay, move on. So now we will learn how to convert from logarithmic form to the index form. So once again, I am going to identify my a, my y, and my x. So in this case, comparing this equation to what you see over here, Realize that to, uh, in this example, my a is x, my y is 3, and my x is just 4. Okay, so to convert, so let me just write out. So y is equals to a to the power of x. So y is 3, a is x, okay, and x is 4, okay. So x to the power of 4 is 3, okay. And of course, if you want to write it the other way, this is also fine, okay. Okay, let's move on. Okay, to solve the following equations, the easiest way is to make use of the and um sorry, this is to make use of the index form. Okay. Okay, so in part A, I'm going to convert from the logarithmic form, okay, to the index form. Okay, so let, let me just identify. So in this case, my a is 4. Okay, a is 4. My y is 8 and my x, okay, my x is just x. Okay, so to convert to the index form, since y is 8 and a is 4, okay, I can write it as such. And now we're going to apply some laws of indices. So 8 is 2 to the power of 3, 4 is 2 square. And if I'll just simplify this a little bit more, so 3 is 2x, and finally, x is just. 3 divided by 2, which is 1.5, okay, or you can write it as 1.5, okay. So in the next, in, in part B over here, okay, we will once again convert from the logarithmic form to the index form, okay. So in this case, let us identify my A is, my A is just 2, my Y, okay, is 2X plus 1, and my X is negative 3. Okay, so let me write it in the index form. So y is 2x plus 1 equals to a to the power of x. Okay, so 2x is 2 to the power of negative 3 minus 1. Okay, and take note that 2 to the power of negative 3, if you want, you can use your calculator to help you. It's just 1, 8 minus 1. Okay, and we divide the 2 over. Okay, and if I were to solve this, I'll just get x equals to negative 7 over 16. Okay, in the last example over here, take note that in this case my a is 9, my y is root 27, and my x is just x. Okay, so converting to the index form, y, which is root 27, is equals to a to the power of x. 
And in order to solve this, I will once again make use of my law of indices. So root, the root sign means uh, power, ha square, power half. Okay, the square root sign means power half. And 27 is actually 3 to the power of 3. Okay, and 9 is just 3 square. Okay, let me just solve, uh, let me just further simplify this. So using law of indices, just in case you've forgotten, a power n, m, sorry, to the power of n is a power m n. Okay, so 3 times half gives me 3 over 2, and over here is 2x. Okay, so 3 over 2 equals to 2x, and x is just 3 quarters. Okay. So I'll leave you with some practice questions, okay? You can try this during your own free time. Pause the video here to copy them down. And uh, just to summarize, in this chapter, we learn how to convert from the index form to the logarithmic form, okay? So just make sure that you're very familiar with these two formulas over here, okay? Because essentially, this is uh, what this chapter is all about. Okay, I'll see you with more laws of logarithm in the next chapter.